Hey guys and welcome to the next video. Today we're going to talk about Salt New York and I will show you my most favorite tints that I use literally daily. So that's the look that I'm going to uh, show you today and let's go! Some time ago I made a first impressions video about Salt New York and this time I have been using it for a while and this is the, my four most favorite go-to shades. So the palette that I use, it's not Salt New York palette, it's just some other, it's actually a Kyger Weiss palette, but it's also magnetic, so any magnetic palette would do, okay? Because um, I wanted to buy a Salt New York four-piece palette, but it was out of stock, so instead I found this one at home. All right, so let's uh, get into it and I'm going to show you what is my favorite shades and how I use them and uh, what I, what shades I did not like. Or better say that I didn't find a use for them, not that I didn't like them, because the quality is top-notch for all of these shades, it's for all of these tints, it's just that some of them I... I cannot make use of them, unfortunately. Right now I have already prepped my skin. I have foundation, Sin Layer, and I used a Zellens Use Glow Foundation. And I used Shui Mura Pencil on my eyebrows. So for the rest of my face I'm gonna use Salt New York tints only. Um, except that I'm gonna use the one eyeshadow and I will show you how I use Salt New York tints on my cheeks and to contour my face a tiny little bit and also as an eyeshadow. Stay tuned. Alright, so um, if you watched my previous video, uh, you saw that I actually bought um, six shades. I bought uh, rose, beige, wine, medium and also, also I have contour and light medium which I do not have in this palette because unfortunately they do not work for me. They do not work because I bought them to use them as a um, eye taupe eyeshadow to deepen the crease in my eye socket and uh, unfortunately they are too light for that. I cannot really see them and if I keep on layering them then it becomes too, too much of the product and then it starts to crease. And I do not usually do contouring here. So instead what I do is sometimes, very rare actually, but I use this medium as a contouring um, uh, shade. So what I do is I put a little bit of it around or better say along the hairline to make uh, the forehead looks like kind of a little bit rounder. <laughs> it kind of looks nicer on pictures, don't you think so? On the camera it looks nicer when this part of the forehead is a little bit darker. It hel I guess it helps to make it a bit smaller because I have a big forehead. And also sometimes I use tiny little bit here. I think it's not very suitable for, for contouring because it is too brown, it's kind of visibly brown, but um, so it doesn't really look like a shadow. The shadow is supposed to be more uh, gray taupe, you know, so that's why um, I seldom use it and overall I'm just not a contour girl. I don't really care about contouring. Well, maybe I should, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Do you do contouring every day or like on occasion or maybe never? Okay, so that's, that's all I do and uh, I use it quite rare. In my first video I showed how I use it as an eyeshadow all over the eyelid and it gives this beautiful glossy finish and I really love the color but unfortunately it does not stay like this. It starts melting into the skin in, the few, in a few hours and then it's just... Um, it, the, it still stays for the uh, few, maybe five, six hours, but it gets weaker, it gets lighter, it starts to crease even if I use some um, powder to fix it. So unfortunately it um, didn't work for me. If you want to wear it maybe just for a few hours then yes it will work, but if it's for the whole day, no, unfortunately. Okay, so instead I actually uh, use beige radiant tint as an eyeshadow and I will show you later. Uh, first I will apply a blush. As you can guess, rose is my favorite, uh, wine is my second favorite. So what I do is I, I use my fingers most of the time uh, 
and I apply a rose all over the cheek and this kind of this bone here so I really like this color because it's uh, close to my skin tone it's not very bright so I do not need to spend minutes blending it or working on it it's kind of re looks really natural and it adds a little bit of this glossiness to my cheek you see it has a little bit of this glow uh, on a camera it looks a little bit weaker than in reality because you know in camera always tone down everything so okay, well, I'm looking into the mirror right now oh my goodness I forgot to on the light I'm sorry guys uh oh okay now we have it I have a light on my side so sorry about it <laughs> so I'm not gonna redo the video I'm just gonna keep it like this because uh, I already made one chick so uh let me try to use the brush on the other side. Uh, this is Vine Goss uh, brush. Personally, I prefer fingers. I feel like when I use brush, I use too much product. And it's just easier for me to use fingers. But let's try. I also try to apply it a little bit here over the temple. I think with um, finger I have more precision like I really applied it only here and it's slightly more dense I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera of course camera doesn't show everything but this one looks much more subtle so I think I need to apply one more layer to make it more visible so as you can see it's super subtle well you can see it from the tint right it's like really gentle pink well okay so now I'm gonna show you um, wine I really love this shade uh, when I, it's on my finger or when I swatch it but on my face I think it looks tiny little bit too dark look at that so this is what it looks like on a finger it's quite dark and it's really it's really like a wine color <laughs> actually so um, to me I feel like it's too dark for my cheeks so what I can do is just to apply a tiny little bit on the apple of my cheek many times I just stop after applying the um, the rose I do not use wine so that's why you can see that my rose is much more used than wine I think I'll try to use the brush on the other side again and this brush is also Vine Goss brush from his latest collection it's tapered because I'm gonna apply the bra bra I'm gonna apply the blush on a smaller uh, area so that's why I choose to use the tapered brush oh you see how how bright it is even with the blush or even even with the brush <laughs> Gosh. oh man Honestly, this is way too much for me. I never wear a blush like that. On a camera, it looks better because cameras just always reduce the intensity of the colors. But I do not really wear it like this in real life. What do you think? Which side do you prefer? The one with the finger or the one with the brush? Let me actually show you with this light. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to show you how I use rose on my lips. So once again, you can use rose or wine up to you. I prefer rose because it has such a natural light, like a, a nude lips color. I do not have any lipstick with this color, so um, it's really, I really love how it looks. Look. I apply it just with my finger. So if you, uh, if you have a limited budget and you want to buy just a handful of tints, so I highly recommend Rose. Rose, I think is suitable for any light skin tone, uh, whether it's with yellow undertone or pink or neutral, I think it's gonna look beautiful on everybody and it's good as the um, blush and as the lip tint as well 
Okay, so now I'm gonna continue with my eyes. You can actually use the beige right now and just apply it uh, along the uh, lash line. But for me, I prefer to add a little bit of definition with the darker eyeshadow. So for that, I prefer to use powder eyeshadow because cream um, eyeshadows uh, added in a crease, they always crease, no matter what the manufacturers say, they always crease. And um, for that, I'm gonna use Pat McGraw's, uh, Pat McGraw's single eyeshadow. It's called Idols in Statues. I forgot to um, use a bit of setting powder. So, uh, because right now I have foundation on and it's creamy obviously and everything on my face is creamy right now. So before I apply the powder eyeshadow, I like to um, just to mattify my, my eyelids with some, uh, you see that's the foundation already creasing. <laughs> And so I like to mattify my eyelids with some setting powder and I use Charlotte Tilbury, this powder, and I think this is so far, this is the best powder I have ever tried. I have tried loose powders, I have tried uh, compact powders, and this one is honestly the best. It comes in a few different shades, like this is medium, but Honestly, I don't really see how how it even matters because it's it's invisible. I bought medium and I thought that maybe it's gonna be too uh, dark for me because most of the time my tone, my skin tone is light or light medium, but it's perfect for me. If you choose in between the shades, don't worry, just grab any. It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> so I also apply under the eyes here because I don't want any shine here. I'm gonna use this little eyeshadow to apply it all over the eyelid. I use the brush that looks like this. As you can see, it makes quite a significant difference. So I really like to have my eye a little bit more defined with this type of taupe matte eyeshadow. I also apply the same eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Okay, so now my eyes are ready for Salt New York uh, eyeshadow. Here's how I do it. This time I'm not gonna use any brush. I have much more control with my fingers. I use this with my pinky. It has this beautiful pearly champagne finish which is not too bright and this is what I'm gonna do right now. I just drag it along the lash line. I do not want it to apply all over the eyelid or higher up there because I think it's gonna smudge eventually. So I only want it here along the lash line. And also one dot here in the inner corner of my eye. That's all. Do you see how beautiful and natural it is? Mm, I'm loving it. This tint is a little bit different compared to the rest. Uh, this is called um, radiant so the radiant tints they have a little bit of shimmer in it and also the texture the formula is very different it's much more harder it's not so buttery and moist to touch but it's also a good thing because it has it stays much more uh, it stays much longer it doesn't melt into the um, eyelid like uh, this brown medium so that's why i think it's a perfect uh, option for the as an eyeshadow so I really love the shine and the color is just perfect, seriously. Uh, I guess you can also use it as a highlighter here. I just simply do not use highlighters, but maybe I can try here. I'm just not a highlighter girl, but I guess you can totally use it for this. So um, that's my look. 
of the day made with salt new york only and a bit of foundation and the um, brow pencil so now probably i will finish with the mascara and uh, maybe a tiny little bit um, eyeliner for a wink and i'm done um, and if you want to know what is my go-to uh, tints that I recommend to everybody so then it's a uh, rose and then a uh, wine and beige and if you want to do a bit of contouring maybe um, if your skin tone is similar to mine mine is like light or light medium so then um, you can either try this for contouring or you can try another um, light medium shade or contour shade so um let me know what you think and let me know what is your favorite tints from salt new york and i really love this brand i love how simple it is to work with these tints and the funny thing i love that i can finish it so fast look at this i was using it like for two i think maybe one and a half less than two months and i already can see the pot so it gives me a hope that i will finish it soon and then i can either choose to repurchase it or maybe try something new that uh, it really mm, kind of satisfying <laughs> to have to see something um, finishing you know and to hit the pot so um, I don't think it's the disadvantage I think it's actually a good thing that it finished quite fast because it's a cream formula so you cannot keep it for years anyway I guess so let me know what's your favorite tints from Salt 